so there's been a lot of interest about my electric drift track recently and so I thought I would do a build overview of this build. Now I'm going to start off by saying there's obviously a lot of different ways of doing this build and this is just the way that I did it and uh, in no way do I claim any responsibility for the way that you guys build it or uh, anything that you guys do. Um, now I'll start off by the frame design. I was highly inspired by Colin Furs on YouTube and uh, basically just copied the way that he made his uh, frame. Um, the back end you can basically make as wide as you want really, uh, it just depends. I just had uh, the amount of metal and then I just used it and made it however large and it just came out to be perfect. Um, so it's just one by two rectangular tubing. Um, and this is just some square stock. Uh, and uh, that's some angle iron back here. Um, and uh, basically I made that back end first, that little rectangular thing. Or I mean, you can obviously do these holes too because it would just make it easier. Just did a hole saw and some holes for these uh, bearings here. Um, you wanna make this axle hole as low as possible as you can to uh, just make it so that you have the best amount of ground clearance. Um, that's just the one thing I would say to watch out for. So you can definitely tell that it's not, the bearing's not definitely in this, like, or it's not in the center of the, there. Um, and once you have that built, then uh, you can just pretty much get ready to mate it to a, an ABMX bike. So you just get an ABMX bike and um, just basically only need the down tube really and uh, just notch it there and made it to there and uh, for this frame I did two support bars coming from the angle iron all the way to the down tube of the, the bike and uh, made a plate for the seat and um, also put a really thick motor plate on that side and just welded it all the way around um, and then made the holes for the motor. The motor is a 72 volt, 3000 watt motor kit from Amazon. And uh, it comes with this uh, speed controller and throttle. I'll have everything linked in the description. Uh, the seat is uh, a green work, or sorry, uh, green machine replacement seat. The only thing I had trouble with was uh, getting that perfect angle welded. So yeah, like I was saying, there's a pretty thick motor plate here. And um, so the only thing I haven't really talked about is uh, the rims, tires, and sleeves, which I got from BMI Carts, uh, mainly just because I wanted uh, quality parts. And uh, the hubs that I got were American bolt pattern, and I needed to make sure that I get an American bolt pattern, and uh, they specified on their site. It just made things a lot easier for me. Um, but honestly, electric motors are very simple. Uh, all there is really is these three phase wires and they're color coded. So it's pretty easy. You just connect them to each terminal and the negative and positive coming from the speed controller and negative and positive going to the battery. And like I said, there's all obviously different ways of doing this and it just depends on each person and their budget. And, um, I was using Greenworks 80 volt batteries that uh, I got the idea from, from Chris Uno. Um, these are the five amp hour ones and they have 360 watt hours. And basically, um, and once everything's bolted in, should look like this. And we'll have a piece of, uh, it'll be flush. And basically these uh, charge in one hour, which is really good um, and have a really good output as well. Um, this plug here was just made from one of these. Uh, I would, I got this from Home Depot. Uh, I would just take a magnet with me to Home Depot and just make sure that it doesn't stick to it just because they have ones that are just coated in copper. And all you just really need to do is just chop it up from right in the middle and uh, flatten these sides out. And you're gonna just have to do a little bit of grinding on each side to just make these a little bit thinner. 
to fit in uh, these two holes here beside the negative and positive. And um, once you have that, then uh, you can just connect one of these to an eight gauge wire and it already has a hole on the side. So you just connect these two together. Um, I have another video that I'll put in of how I made these so that they'll be just like flush right here so that they can just like go inside as flush as possible and there won't be any copper hanging out to just like short out anything at all. Um, like I said, it's just not the safest way of doing it. Chris Uno even uh, said something about it. Uh, but you know, I just made things work for now. Um, and once you have those basically connected, you just have hall sensor and these three right here, which is throttle and the speed control and the reverse. And basically right here, the speed control, you can just go from one, two, and three. It's obviously in Chinese, but it just has, you know. And the last thing that there is, is just the key. And you just plug the key in and you're able to turn on the motor once you obviously connect the battery in and you pretty much have a working motor already um as if, if everything's going correct as that is um and uh basically after that everything was just cosmetic i already had these 12 volt batteries because before i would run six of them to get 72 volts uh but obviously that was really heavy it was t like 20 to 30 pounds and uh versus this which is like five six pounds just made more sense and it's way more powerful lasts longer and just charges in one hour versus <laughs> six of those charging but uh since i had them i just used them for my led lights that uh just you know rgb just because <laughs> but um and uh got some grips and some nice looking tires the other thing that i had to do was make this bracket onto this I had to weld that bracket onto this uh fork because it wasn't uh, uh able to use a uh, disc brake i also had to source another rim that had a disc brake already on it that was kind of the hard one of the hard things to do as well just depends on how the market's looking like uh in terms of uh offer up and craigslist and things like that uh but um it's everything here has worked for me pretty well. I've had this drift trike for about a year now. I've been using these batteries for about a year now. Uh, one of them I did push too hard and I feel like I undervolted, but uh, they do have a three year warranty. So I uh, called up Greenworks. Obviously you don't want to let them know that you are using these for <laughs> electric vehicles, but um, yeah, they'll usually send you a new one if you just call them and let them know that the charger is just not charging it anymore um but uh that's basically the bare bones of how to build one of these drift trikes the last thing that i did forget to mention is that uh these motors originally come with a uh t8f um sprocket and uh i wanted to upgrade that a little bit so i went up to a 35 chain there's a guy on ebay that uh sells the 35 sprocket motor sprocket for about like 10 or 12 bucks so i did that and then the rear gear is a 24 tooth gear um other than that i believe i did cover everything else um